Hello everyone. Today we will discuss factor influencing vibrational frequency. These are the four factors affecting vibrational frequency. Coupled vibration and Fermi resonance, electronic effect, hydrogen bonding and bond angles. Introduction. First, we will understand what is vibrational frequency. When IR radiation are absorbed by a molecule, the bonds of that molecule start vibrating. When the bonds start vibrate, they give the IR absorption band in the spectrum. So it is possible to calculate the approximate vibrational frequency of a bond so that we can predict at which position IR absorption band will appear in the spectrum. So the approximate vibrational frequency of a bond can be calculated by using the equation which is derived from the Hooke's law. But the calculated frequency do not match with the experimental value. The difference arises due to fact that vibration of each group is influenced by the structure of a molecule in the neighborhood of bond. Frequency shifts also take place on working with the same substance in a different state that means solid, liquid and gas. Now first factor is coupled vibration and Fermi resonance. Transition from ground state to the first excited state absorb light strongly and give rise to intense band called the fundamental bands X and Y are the two fundamental bands. If the transition from ground state to the second excited state with the absorption of IR radiation give rise to weak bands called the overtone that means 2X and 2Y. When two vibrational frequencies in a molecule coupled to give rise to a vibration of a new frequency within a molecule and when such vibration is IR active it is called as combination band. Not all possible combinations occur. Some combinations are x plus y, x plus 2y, 2x plus y and etc. Now coming to the difference band. Observed frequency in these cases results from the difference between the two interacting bands. Such as x minus y, x minus 2y, 2y minus x. These additional bands are usually 10 to 100 times less intense as compared to fundamental bands. And we can calculate overtone combination and difference band by directly manipulating, that means adding or subtracting. When a fundamental vibration coupled with the overtone or combination band, the coupled vibration is called Fermi resonance. Next, we will see electronic effect. Changes in absorption frequency of a particular group take place when a substituent in the neighborhood of the particular groups are changed. Under the influence of these effects, the force constant or the bond strength changes and its absorption frequency shifts from the normal value. Electronic effect is due to the inductive effect. There are two types of inductive effect, positive inductive effect and negative inductive effect. The introduction of alkyl group causes a positive inductive effect. This results in lengthening or weakening of bond and hence force constant is lower and wave number of absorbance decreases. So basically, if we add electron releasing group in a compound, it increases the bond length and decreases the force constant. If the force constant is decreases, the vibrational frequency is also decreases. So this can be explained by taking the example of formaldehyde. In formaldehyde, vibrational band occur at 1750 cm inverse. If we are taking the example of acetaldehyde, in which we are adding one electron releasing group, that's value is decreases it will now absorb at 1745 cm inverse. If we are adding two electron releasing group, that means acetone, it will further decrease the absorption band and it, it, it will further decrease and the absorption band will occur at 1715 cm inverse. So positive inductive effect decreases the vibration frequency. Now negative inductive effect. Introduction of electronegative atom or group causes a negative inductive effect this results in bond order to increase. Therefore, the force constant increases and hence the wave number of absorbance is also increases. So basically, if we are adding the electron withdrawing group in a compound, it will increase the force constant and if the force constant is increases, the vibrational frequency is also increases. Now, coming to the example, if we are taking the acetone, the vibrational band occurred at 1715 cm inverse. If we are taking chloroacetone, the compound absorbed at 1725 cm inverse. 
if we are taking dichloroacetone the compound is absorbed at 1740 cm inverse so it's indicate that if we increases the electronegativity the value is also increased so so positive inductive effect decreases the vibrational frequency and negative inductive effect increases the vibrational frequency in this way inductive effect affect the vibrational frequency now coming to the third factor hydrogen bonding hydrogen bonding changes the position and shape of ir absorption band hydrogen bonding shifts the vibrational frequency to the lower value stronger the hydrogen bonding greater the absorption shift towards the lower frequency from the normal value it means that hydrogen bonding increases absorption frequency will decreases now there are two types of hydrogen bonding intermolecular hydrogen bonding and intramolecular hydrogen bonding and this hydrogen bonding can be readily distinguished in ir technique if any kind of the hydrogen bonding is there it is going to shift the vibrational frequency towards the lower value now we will take the example of hydrogen bonding monomeric alcohol and phenols non hydrogen bonded shows the oh stretching at 36502 3600 cm inverse as a strong sharp band however hydrogen bonded alcohol and phenol shows the oh stretching at 3400 to 3200 cm inverse as a strong but broad band now next factor is bond angles lesser bond angles example lesser than 120 degree causes peak to appear at higher frequency in case the bond angle is pushed outward 120 degree the opposite effect operates